What's up, kids? This is Chapter 4, Lesson 4. Today we're going to be talking about how to multiply mixed numbers. So before I get started, uh, if you don't know what a mixed number is, it is a mix of whole numbers and a fraction. So when you see the word mixed numbers, you should be thinking something like this. Here's an example. 4 and 2 thirds. It's a mix of a whole number and a fraction. That's the mix right there. So today we're going to learn, well, how do we multiply when we have mixed numbers involved? So let's get right into it. The first thing I want you to write down in your notes is this. Really important. In order to multiply fractions, dot, 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 and then over here, So, in order to multiply fractions, the fractions must, must look like this. They have to look like this. A number over a number times a number over a number. And I'm going to highlight this right here because that is really the key for today's lesson. And when I look back to the mixed number, that's no good. This does not look like a number over a number. So a mixed number, so I could write that over here on the side. If I have something like 4 and 2 thirds, that is no good. I can't multiply with that. I have to change this so that it looks like a number over a number, and we'll get to how we do that today. So this whole thing, this right here, is really the key to today's lesson. In order to multiply fractions, you have to get your fractions looking like this. A number over a number times a number over a number. And then you're good to go. And we know from previous lessons, you multiply numerators across and you multiply denominators across. Uh, this, we can't multiply with this. Does not look like that at all. It's got a whole number over here. It's a mix and that's not something that we can multiply with. So now we're going to talk about how do we change mixed numbers. You're going to change mixed numbers, if you have them, you're going to change mixed numbers into improper fractions. change mixed numbers into improper fractions. So we'll talk about how do we do that. Actually, we've talked about it before, so part of this is going to be review. If you have, here's an example, 3 and 4 fifths, that is, uh, can't multiply with this. It does not look like a number over a number. So I'm just going to draw an arrow like this and show uh, no good. Three and four fifths is no good. Doesn't look like that. So what we're going to do is something called the mad face, which we've talked about before. We're gonna do the we're gonna mad face three and four fifths to change it. So here's what that means.
we're going to mad face three and four fifths. And here's the mad face. It's got an arrow that looks like this. And multiply and then add. It looks like this. This tells you the direction that you're going. And first you multiply and then you add. So if I take my mixed number, three and four fifths, and if I do the mad face to three and four fifths, the arrow tells me the direction to go. So I'm going to start here and go like this, multiply, then add. So I would be doing five times three, which is 15, plus four. So 15 plus four gives me 19. And my denominator stays whatever this is. It's a five, so that stays five. That is the mad face, which we've talked about before. So 3 and 4 fifths, after you do the mad face to it, again, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 makes 19. My denominator stays 5. I get 19 fifths. And now I can say, yay, it fits. Smiley face. So 19 fifths improper fraction fits what we want, a number over a number. No longer do we have the whole number next to a fraction. We've changed it into just an improper fraction. So that is key for today. So I'm going to highlight the mad face. That's a huge part of what your practice is today. And I'll highlight this over here, change mixed numbers into improper fractions using the mad face. You want to get number over number. Okay, now let's look at an example. We'll put it all together with an example. So how would we multiply 3 and 3 fourths times 2 and 2 fifths. So I'll copy my problem again over here. 3 and 3 fourths times 2 and 2 fifths. And right away, if I go back to what we first talked about, doesn't look like this. I can't multiply. I've got mixed numbers. I have two mixed numbers actually. So I need to mad face both of these and Right here, mad face. Okay, and again, I can show the symbol for that. It's arrow, multiply, then add. I'm going to mad face both of these and change them into improper fractions. 4 times 3 makes 12, plus 3 makes 15. Over 4, my denominator doesn't change. So I've got 15 fourths times mad face 2 and 2 fifths. I would do 5 times 2 makes 10, plus 2 is 12. My denominator stays 5. I've got 12 fifths. Now it looks like this. Now I can multiply. I'm actually going to highlight this just to show that it, this is what we want. Number over number times number over number. We're now good to multiply. Now it's numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. However, I'm going to use the simplifying first. I don't want to have to deal with 15 times 12. That's going to be big. And 4 times 5. I am going to simplify before I multiply. So here are my numerators, here are my denominators from last lesson. If you, you can simplify, uh, if you have a numerator and a denominator that have a common factor, you can simplify with those two numbers. And I see this numerator 15 and this denominator 5. 5 is a common factor there. So I'm going to divide by 5 with these two. 
5 divided by 5 would give me 1, and 15 divided by 5 would give me 3. I see another way I could simplify with 4 and 12. 4 is a factor of both of those numbers. How many 4s go into 4? That turns into 1. What's 12 divided by 4? That turns into 3. Now I've got much easier numbers to work with. Now I'm doing multiplying 3 times 3 over 1 times 1. Well, 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 1 is 1. My simplify and that 9 over 1 simplifies to 9. So there's my answer. 3 and 3 fourths times uh, 2 and 2 fifths. Uh, the answer is 9. Uh, something else that I want to just go back to that we've talked about before is estimating. What is this close to? 3 and 3 fourths. If you think whole numbers, this is close to 4. 2 and 2 fifths, that is, it's close to 2 and a half, uh, but it's, if you go by whole numbers, it's closer to 2. So this would be 4 times 2 makes 8. So a real fast estimate for this would be about 8. And my answer was 9. That fits my estimate. So today, this is what you're practicing right here, multiplying mixed numbers. And again, we're building on a few skills that we've done before. Um, if you have mixed numbers, you have to mad face them. Have to mad face first. changing them into improper fractions so it fits this number over number. And if you have two mixed numbers, you have to do it twice. Then you can multiply like we've uh, done in previous lessons. Uh, really quick, I also just want to remind you that uh, we've talked about this before, but if you have a whole number, uh, anytime you have a whole number, you can change that into... Uh, a fraction just by putting that whole number over a 1. So if you have a whole number, let's say a whole number 5, you can change that into a fraction. You can always change whole numbers into fractions by just taking the whole number and putting that whole number over 1. 5 is the same thing as 5 over 1, which we've talked about before. I just wanted to remind you of that. In case you have a whole number and you want to make it into a fraction so that it fits this, you can. Any whole number is that whole number over 1. Uh, that is it for Chapter 4, Lesson 4. Your treasure uh, today is another power-up question. Here it is. Today's hidden treasure is, back on page 26 in your workbook, power-up question number 27. Be ready to explain that uh, on the next lesson, and you will win today's hidden treasure. I'll see you next time for Chapter 4, Lesson 5. We'll talk soon.